Well, hey there. Race time. Sunday fun day. We are down in Carson, California. This is CBR number two. And we are doing left turns on this course, which is, I think, the hardest of the two directions on this course. And um, it's the last few laps. Let's say it's uh, coming down to a sprint because uh, the brakes that were off the front have been neutralized. Right to my right there, well, we just passed him, but uh, he's in the yellow jersey. His name is Kevin Phillips. He is the current um, leader of the series because he won the last race, which was two weeks ago, in the Dominguez Hillside, which is literally across Wilmington Avenue on the other side, and then this is the Carson course. Uh, there's my teammate Scott Cochran in front of me, um, just kind of like... Our game plan was if it came down to a sprint, our guys would uh, kind of drill it to the front. There's Bart just in front there in his state champ kit. There's John Davis in the, the white and gray in front of me. He's also one of the really fast sprinters. Just Danny and Octay are kind of our breakaway guys that's those they just rolled by on the right they actually go to the front and just put a really hard tempo for the last few laps which was really pretty much perfect because it kept it fast and strung out there's bart right in front of me bart bart's not quite at his fittest right now so he was kind of sacrificing for me um, I've had some pretty good legs lately, so the guys wanted to help me out if it came down to a sprint. I think our game plan was to send Danny and Octa off in sprint, and I'm sorry, in breakaways, which they did. Um, but, you know, 96 riders, I think, was what we had today. Uh, pretty, you know, huge field, so the, the horsepower and the firepower in this field, they pretty much neutralized every break. So, I just want to stay near the front because I know that's going to be a sprint. And I, if if uh, we aren't able to do a lead out, I'm just going to jump trains, look for the, the sprinters that I know that are going to be up there. Which is kind of, you know, spoiler alert, that's kind of what I do because it ends up getting really crazy and frenetic on the last lap. And... Uh, to be honest, I was pretty lucky to even get through it unscathed. It was almost not fast enough. Uh, I prefer it to be just strung out single file. Um, and it was like, just like you're looking at right now, it was pretty much just a big mumbo jumbo bunch of dudes, you know, just rolling down. And everybody at that point thinks that they have a chance. And when it's super super fast and strung out it's safer and I'm usually able to hold my position and it actually works out better for me so the wind was coming from uh, my right shoulder and so this was the crosswind section and then between turn between turns three and four was a tailwind and so it was pretty fast this is kind of like a gradual uphill false flat and this also was kind of a gradual uphill false flat and then the finishing straight away was also kind of an, a little grade uphill so it was a it's it's a tricky tricky finish um it takes a lot of power to get up there when you're coming from the other direction, it's mostly downhill. The course is mostly downhill, but then it has one uphill kicker before the final turn. This one is one downhill and then mostly uphill, so it's kind of the opposite. So this is Bell Lap. Um, a little elbow going on there. <laughs> Not sure what that was all about. Scott had or John Davis had the position 
you know, that guy had no business putting his elbow out because John had the position. That's his teammate. So there's Kevin Phillips in the yellow jersey to my right. Um, he's definitely one of the faster sprinters. Um, I did, I you know, I just getting to know him. I didn't know him before this weekend. Um, he won the last race, but, you know, we got to chat a little bit after the race. and uh, Track racer definitely definitely has a, a history in racing. It's just coming back, I guess, after a few years off when I hear. So well, I guess this wasn't Bell Lab, so it's got to be coming into Bell Lab right now. So at this point, you know, I'm not really sure who the lead out is for as the stage two guys are all trying to get up in there. There's Victor Ayala, he's from LaGrange. Yeah, there's Kevin. Yeah, this is Bell Lab. I can remember now. So I was kind of hoping it'd be a little bit faster. Um, it was a headwind right here, so that did tend to bench up. I started to get a little bit boxed in right here. But the door kind of opens and I kind of slide through. Kevin kind of punches through the middle and I just follow him. It's like in football, following your blocker. They opened up that hole, and then I kind of lose the wheel a little bit right here. Um, I've got to get around this. Uh, that's Pat Boss. i got to get around him. And then I'm on Steve Remy's wheel. He's from Creative Blue. And Kevin, and there's one guy in front of him. And my, my plan was to jump out of this corner and just try to lead it out because... It's a tailwind right here, but these guys had the same idea, so now the race is on. So then I just kind of settle in behind them. And I should have gone to the right where the sheltered size was, but I had to go to the left because they kind of closed that door. And that it was pretty windy, and these guys were just faster than me. I just couldn't come around them. So Kevin gets the win, Steve gets second, and I get third. But, you know, the fastest guy won. I can't complain, so... We will see you at the next one. Thanks.